What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Woo, back with some more on the block news, man. Before I even get this shit started, man, make so y'all hit that like, hit that subscribe button, the hit that notification bell, man, not late. But right now, listen, man, make sure y'all hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, man. Not later, but right now, man. Today, before I even get into this story, man, make so y'all checking out my website. You feel me? Check out that fly merch I got. You feel me? Uh, order physical copies of my music. Order some clothes for you and the family. Block Material Clothing is the brand. The clothing brand. Block Music Entertainment is what I release my music under. You feel me? So tap in, man. Stay logged in for my new releases and everything. Um, I just want to tap back in on this story with the 14-year-old, uh, you know, falling out the ride. You feel me? From 430 feet. You feel me? I really had to speak on this shit because I see that. You feel me? News and the government as a whole, you feel me? And the media, they like to sweep certain shit under the rug. You feel me? I don't think nobody else knew this, so let me be the first to tell y'all. I know y'all are very aware of the 14-year-old that wasn't fully strapped down in this ride. And you feel me? And um, he ended up coming out the ride because if you know, the ride is like the drop of doom. So when they get to a certain amount of feet, it just breaks and it just like bounce, like it like push you forward. You feel me to push forward for this guy? He was 14, but he was what, like 6'5? Nigga, 300 and something pounds. So, man, you can't just not have a guy like that strapped in. Then, kind of find out the ride don't even have seat belts. So, you let this, y'all put this boy on this ride. He wasn't even strapped in the ride. It ain't no seat belts. Like, what you think was gonna happen? You feel me? I say his parents should sue for, should sue for billions. And on top of that, you feel me, in 2020, Somebody fell from that same ride when they was doing maintenance on it from 60 feet in 2020, September 2020. It was a white guy. You feel me? How come we never heard about that? You feel me? Man, that whole motherfucking amusement park is faulty. I imagine you climbing out, you going up 400 feet high with your coworker, <coughs> sort of like your best friend. <coughs> And you, you at work with this nigga having a conversation with him one day. Then you watch this nigga drop. And then you got to come to work the next day. And you feel me? Like, what type of shit is that? And you feel me? These motherfuckers still got this ride going. And they don't have no seatbelts. Like, I mean, damn, y'all got the whole amusement park built. How much more is it going to be to install some motherfucking seatbelts, bro? You feel me? Um, And then the parents of the of the 14-year-old boy saying that, um, this friend, either his friends next to him, or you feel me, the people that sit next to him, they said, if I don't make it back, tell my, tell my uh, parents I love them. You feel me? I'm back. And I found that crazy because number one, you gotta know yourself. Like you feel me? I've been like I'm two hundred right now. You feel me? I'm two some right now. Feel me? But I've been wearing this amount my whole damn life. So. You feel me? I knew my way. I knew I was a big ass nigga. You feel me? Certain shit big niggas can't do. Big niggas can't do certain dances and everything. You feel me? It's just certain shit that motherfuckers don't look right doing or don't don't fit your weight. You feel me? Your weight class. You feel me? So, man, I just want to say, man, if y'all going to be going to these amusement parks, man, y'all playing with y'all life. You feel me? Because I always thought roller coasters was safe, but then again... I didn't think they were safe because it's like, damn, what if that motherfucker come up out of this? And sometimes you're in the seat, you'll move. You feel me? You'll move around, you know? I'm scared as a motherfucker to go to an amusement park. You won't catch me there this summer. You feel me? I don't give a fuck. You won't catch me there this summer, nigga. On my mama. And I know Magic Mount, nigga, not very for All these great amusement parks where you don't hear these kind of problems happening. I know they mad as a motherfucker because they going to lose money. Because a lot of people around the world are scared to come, go to amusement parks now. Like, fuck no. You ain't going to see no big niggas in no amusement park. Nigga, I got chest. I got arms. You feel me? I'm, I got size on me. So, nigga, I don't, I, what if I'm too big and I popped a lot? You feel me? I'm just saying, though. That's, what it got me, that's how it got me thinking now. So, guess what? I'm covering my eyes because my life is more important than a 30-second ride. You feel me? So listen, man, I want to know what y'all think in the comments. Rest in peace to the 14-year-old that lost his life and to, the, I think, the 21-year-old that lost his life in 2020 when he was working on a ride. He fell from 60 feet. 
the fourteen year old, he fell for four hundred feet. So, and the cold thing about it is, I screen recorded the video before uh, they took it down. You feel me? So, the video of him coming out the ride mid in the air, nigga hitting the gate, everything hitting the float. You hear it, bro? I felt that shit in my bones, bro. I swear to God, man. Rest in peace to him, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, though. Check out my website, all that shit, man. Make sure y'all hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, man. Not later, but right now. My name is Young Woo. This is On The Block News.